So goods receiving and our stripping bay. Goods come in here, they're dirty, they get identified as per our ISO system and then flow through to our cleaning processes. Acid, ultrasonic and steam cleaning. This is our initial and final assessment area for our, our block components. This is where they'll be inspected prior to machining and double checked post machining. Exactly what the foreman's doing now is checking. We're storing all the work in progress up here in holding areas and at the top of the shop there. We only keep the work that we need for the day on the shop floor. So our crankshaft polishing machine gives us a capacity of over six meters and then some general machining area. This is our block machining area. We have several machines at our disposal um, to remanufacture the blocks, um, both the rebore and the line bore side of things. This is us grinding a 16 cylinder uh, Caterpillar crankshaft on a custom, custom setup. Um, compensators, uh, isolated foundation, all things that just contribute to the quality of the grind. This, this arrived yesterday. It's an addition to our fleet of Rotler machines that we use for remanufacturing the blocks. Another three axis CNC machine. These two Rotler F109s are our big block uh, machines. You'll see they'll take a EMD 16 cylinder comfortably with uh, capacity to spare. Camshaft and crankshaft section, we have non-destructive testing, we then go to camshaft reprofiling and then different, different size crankshaft grinders depending on the size crank, we match it to the machine we're going to use. Our cylinder head section, everything from surfacing of cylinder heads through to pressure testing, crack testing, valve seat cutting, valve refacing, all takes place in this section. Capability to remanufacture cylinder heads completely. connecting rod section. So here we're re reconditioning or remanufacturing uh, connecting rods all the way up to your big EMD locomotive conrods. <laughs>